Hey guys, I wanted to make a video today because it's Tiger Woods birthday and it's his 40th birthday and I just wanted to take a moment to thank Mr. Woods for what he's given the game and obviously I talk mostly about Ben Hogan and secondly probably talk about Jack Nicklaus and uh, I don't talk a lot about Tiger because everybody else talks about Tiger. But he's been a tremendous inspiration for my swing evolution. And besides Mr. Hogan himself, I consider Tiger Woods' swing evolution to be probably the most important in history. And uh, he's the one that paved the way for myself to go through my own swing evolution. It's funny, I didn't even start my swing evolution until Tiger was already deep into the... Uh, the Woods Foley relationship. You know, it's kind of strange to think about how much work he's done on his swing. But what I wanted to do is tell everybody a little story about my game and uh, how Tiger Woods helped me get it back on track. So when I was 23 years old, I went out to play golf with some of my friends from high school. And there was a, a young buck who was uh, just graduating from high school who was really good. I know he'd shot uh, four under par at least, you know. Um, and so we were all out playing golf, and I borrowed my dad's clubs because I didn't have any golf clubs. And I figured, you know, it doesn't matter. It's not the arrow. It's the Indian. And my dad has senior flex shafts. And uh, I was 23, so I was probably swinging pretty close to 110 miles an hour. Suffice to say, I shot, God, it was like 118. I don't think I finished the round. But what was even worse was after every bad shot, I was throwing these golf clubs, cursing, putting on histrionics and huge displays of grief and anguish in front of my high school friends. Like, it was so embarrassing once I finally got calmed down and I was in my car driving home, that I swore I would never play golf again. So this was in the early 1990s, and uh, I didn't play golf for four years. But when I was 27, I was living with a buddy, Hal, and another friend, Stephen, and Hal was a good golfer, and he always had the golf channel on. And then suddenly... Tiger Woods burst onto the scene. You know, the first thing that I really, really remember was that uh, U.S. Amateur win for his third in a row with the fist pumping and all of that. And I was like, this kid is awesome. And it's so funny because I'm only six years older than Tiger and I think of him as a kid because at that time he seemed so young as a teenager and I was in my mid-twenties, you know. But... Uh, when I was 27, I finally decided that I was mature enough to pick up the game again. And the only way I would do it was if I promised myself I'd never act like a child again. And uh, when Tiger Woods was uh, playing that second year and he won the Masters by 12 strokes, let me tell you, I did something I hadn't done since I was a kid. I had all my golf magazines and everything else, and I cut out pictures of Tiger Woods fist pumping, hitting drives, doing the whole nine yards, and I made a poster collage of Tiger Woods, and I started to play golf again. Now, the horrible truth of the matter was I was worse than ever. I know I played around with my friend George, who tried to help me, and if I recall correctly, I shot 126. Um, this is a literal 126. I was wrought with anxiety. I couldn't swing the club at all. I had yips through my whole bag. I didn't know where a drive was going to go. I didn't know if I was going to hit an iron shot fat. I couldn't chip without stubbing it. It was, it was really clinical. It was... Uh, it was tough, but you know, the most remarkable thing is I had the courage to keep playing and tell myself there's no shame in my game. I love this game and I'm going to play it even if I have to play like garbage for the rest of my life. And so that went on for another 13 years playing terribly, you know, hundreds, nineties, 
and I finally started to get down into the 80s, mid 80s, but I could never break 80. I hadn't broken 80 for over 20 years when I started my swing evolution. Um, and that's uh, what happened when I finally got my hands on a flip video camera and saw my golf swing for the first time in 20 years. I was like, no wonder you can't play well. Your swing is terrible. So I started my swing evolution. But all of this I can trace back to watching Tiger win that U.S. Amateur, turn pro, win those events in the fall, and then come out and kick everybody's butt at the Masters in 1997. The greatest golf moment that I could recall since Jack Nicklaus won his sixth Masters in 1986. And uh, I'll be forever grateful for the inspiration that Tiger Woods has given me and the courage he's given me to attack swing changes and really commit to them because it changed my life. So, Mr. Woods, I hope that you have a happy 40th birthday. I hope that you get back healthy again. You know, Jack won three majors after the age of 40. If you can get pain-free and really develop a new regimen, I believe very strongly in the calisthenics yoga kind of approach, uh, less heavy weights. I mean, everybody says this stuff, but, you know, I'm just saying because I care. I really want to see Tiger Woods get back to the top of the game because... There is nobody as electrifying as Tiger Woods. So that's all I have to say. And uh, happy birthday, Tiger Woods. Hit him long and hit him straight.